Hello from the Caribbean, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin, an attorney that works at J.H. Marlin Law, a law firm in the Caribbean that specializes in citizenship by investment and residency by investment. So today's video is going to talk about my experiences moving to the Bahamas, living in the Bahamas, as well as opportunities for investors and for people that are looking to vacation in the Bahamas. So I first moved to the Bahamas in approximately September of 2016. And the purpose of moving to the Bahamas was so that I could attend the Eugene Dupreach Law School in the Bahamas and convert my law lawyer qualifications in Canada to be qualified as an attorney in the Caribbean. And so there's three schools. One is in Trinidad, one's in Jamaica, and one's in Bahamas. And I chose the Bahamas specifically because I had friends who lived there as well as I wanted to explore a lot of the outer islands of the Bahamas and I thought there could be interesting business opportunities because of its close proximity to Miami and the States. And so I moved there. I spent time living at uh, on Paradise Island at the Atlantis Hotel. So I had a client who had condos at Atlantis and that's the famous resort where they have the water slides and the aquarium and lots of really good, nice restaurants. Uh, very commercial and then I spent part of my time also living on Paradise Island but at One Ocean's Place by the harbor with lots of boats and there's a really nice beach there and uh, I experienced the local lifestyle, I went to school with local Bahamians, I interned at a law firm so I learned a lot while at school and interning, I, I, I learned a lot about criminal law, corporate law, constitutional law and I uh, at the firm, I, I got to go to court often because uh, I, I worked in litigation area. And so this was a really interesting opportunity in terms of business and learning about the legal system of the Bahamas. And then some of the things that I really loved about living in the Bahamas is the outer islands, visiting the outer islands, which are absolutely beautiful. So I've been had the opportunity, you can do day trips or overnight trips to different nearby islands. So I've been to Spanish Wells, been to Norman's Key, so if you want to have really these really great burgers, like these big, big burgers, and they're at Norman's Key, and it's listed, uh, and I learned about Norman's Key through the book Air Pirates. So if you're into aviation and the Bahamas, that's how I learned about a lot of the outer islands in the Bahamas was through this book. And then um, there's other places in the outer islands of the Bahamas, like Stella Maris Hotel, and there's bungalows on the beach, then there's Pink Sands, uh, Pink Sands and Pink Sands Hotel area the Exumus Islands, there's Daniel Key, so they have lots of nurse sharks at Daniel's Key. So if you read in the news a couple of years ago, a girl got bitten by a nurse shark and she was taking a picture for Instagram and she got a bite. bite. So that was at Daniel's Key. Then there's been to San Salvador, so there's health retreats in San Salvador Island. And uh, what's really great is that I made a lot of really good friends from the Bahamas that would go fishing and then go pick up lobster and bring home lobster and grill it on the grill and it's the, the taste of fresh lobster is really great and uh, if you want you know so it was common to just jump off the boat and there's 30 40 sharks without a cage and and you're just swimming with the sharks and so I always made sure that I was the fastest swimmer in the water so that I'd be the first one to get out of the water um, if something were to happen but I really love the outdoor lifestyle and the friendliness of some of the people that I met. And then some of the disadvantages of the Bahamas were that there's lots of traffic. I, I didn't like particularly how it was very commercial, the areas where I lived. The outer islands aren't, aren't commercial, um, but there's, they, they cater to the cruise ship industry in Nassau. So there's lots of tourists and it's, it's very uh, tourist, tourist oriented. And then as well, some areas in the Bahamas, I didn't exactly feel safe. So I'd always make sure that I was with people that I felt comfortable with. And if I didn't feel comfortable, that I went straight home. Uh, so that's something that I, I, didn't, I, didn't particularly, uh, I didn't particularly like. And then for people that are interested in um, moving to the Bahamas or residing in the Bahamas, there's residency opportunities through investment in real estate starting at above 750,000 to if you want accelerated 1.5 million and you can get residency of the Bahamas. And uh, what's interesting about the Bahamas is that it's a really a tax neutral jurisdiction. So there can be tax advantages to relocating to the Bahamas. I think also as well advantages are that, um, you know, there's, there's uh, a growing expat community as well as um, 
catered towards people that are interested in in the tourism industry. And uh, so a lot of people have asked me whether or not Cayman Island, uh, whether or not the Bahamas will introduce citizenship by investment. So they've seen this in the news and some people have, there's often discussions that resurface in the news every once in a while, whether or not Bahamas will be one a country that will offer citizenship by investment. But having, partic having lived there and knowing people in government as well as people that work at law firms and in the you know, banks and in the investment industry, I don't think that Bahamas is going to offer a citizenship by investment program anytime soon. I think they have really pride in being Bahamian and uh, I, so I don't think that that will happen um, anytime soon. And so those are a little bit about my thoughts about the Bahamas. And uh, I do hope to continue to make videos. I don't always have the time to make videos because we're really busy working. Particularly right now, we have a lot of clients that are interested in a plan B option and acquiring citizenship in the Caribbean. And uh, so if you want more information, you can visit our website at jhmarlin.com or send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. All right, happy Sunday, all the best. Bye for now, bye.